Hello everyone, welcome to Dentomedia YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn basic terminologies in dental anatomy. Let's get started. Cusp A cusp is an elevation on an occlusal surface of posterior teeth and canines. It is present on the occlusal surface of molar and premolar teeth and on the incisal edges of canines. Each cusp represents the developmental lobes of a tooth, the cusps are named according to the location on the tooth surface. The number of cusps may vary according to the type of teeth canines have one cusp, maxillary premolars and mandibular first premolars usually have two cusps, mandibular second premolars may have either two or three cusps, Maxillary molars have four and mandibular molars may have four or five cusps. Tubercle, tubercle is a small, rounded prominence on the surface of tooth resulting from the extra formation of enamel. Tubercles are usually deviations from the normal form. For example, the cusp of carabelli is a tubercle, cingulum, cingulum is a bulge or elevation on the lingual surface of incisors or canines. It is the lingual lobe of the anterior teeth and makes up the bulk of the cervical third of the lingual surface, lobe, developmental lobe is the growth center in the development of the crown of the tooth, each tooth begins to develop from four or more developmental lobes, and they appear as cusps and mamelons on the tooth surface, deciduous incisors develop from one lobe and deciduous molars develop from five lobes, three facial and two lingual. Permanent anterior teeth, maxillary premolars and mandibular first premolars develop from four lobes, three labial and one lingual, permanent mandibular second premolars and permanent mandibular molars develop from five lobes, three buccal and two lingual. Permanent maxillary molars develop from four lobes, two buccal and two lingual. Mamelons Mamelons are the protrusion seen in the incisal ridges of newly erupted permanent incisor teeth, they represent the three lobes from which the labial surface forms, and they are separated by developmental grooves, ridges, ridges are any linear, flat elevations on teeth, and they are named according to their location or form, several specific types of ridges can be identified as follows, labial ridge. It is the ridge running cervico incisali approximately at the center of the labial surface of the canines, it extends from the cusp tip to the cervical region of the tooth, this ridge is very prominent in maxillary canines as compared to mandibular canines, buccal ridge, it is the ridge running cervico occlusally, approximately at the center of the buccal surface of the premolas, it extends from the cusp tip to the cervical region of the tooth. This ridge is very prominent in the first premola compared with the second premolas, incisal ridge. It is present in the incisal portion of newly erupted incisors, where the incisal surface is rounded and merges with the mesioincisal and distoincisal angles and the labial and lingual surfaces, lingual ridge. It is the ridge running cervicoincisali, approximately at the center of the lingual surface of the canines. It extends from the cusp tip to the cingulum in the cervical third, thereby dividing the lingual fossa into two parts. This ridge is also more prominent in maxillary canines than in mandibular canines, linguoincisal ridge, it is the ridge running mesiodistally in the lingual surface at the incisal third level, cervical ridge, it is the ridge running mesiodistally on the cervical third of the buccal surface of the crown. It is found on all primary teeth and on permanent molars, marginal ridge. It is a linear, rounded border of enamel that forms the mesial and distal margins of occlusal surfaces on posterior teeth and the mesial and distal margins of the incisors and canines lingually. In anterior teeth, the marginal ridges run vertically in the cervicoincisal direction and in posterior teeth, these run horizontally in the buccolingual direction, cusp ridge. It refers to the inclined surface or ridge that forms an angle at the cusp tip. Cusp ridges are also termed cusp arms, triangular ridge. It is the ridge descending from the tips of the cusps of molars and premolas towards the central part of the occlusal surface. In cross-section, 
These ridges are more or less triangular and hence are termed triangular ridges. These are named according to the cusp to which they belong, transverse ridge. It is a type of ridge that crosses the occlusal surface of posterior teeth transversely and is created when the buccal and lingual triangular ridges join, oblique ridge, it is the ridge that crosses the occlusal surface of the maxillary molars obliquely. It extends from the triangular ridge of the distabuccal cusp to the distal cusp ridge of the mesiopalatal cusp, fossa. Fossa is an irregular, rounded depression or concavity found on the lingual surface of anterior teeth and occlusal surface of posterior teeth. The point of convergence of the ridges and the junction of the grooves form the depression or fossa in posterior teeth. Lingual fossa. It is found on the lingual surface of the anterior teeth. It is bound by the lingual ridge, cingulum and marginal ridges. In canine teeth, the lingual fossa is divided into two by the lingual ridge running cervicoincisali. Central fossa. It is a major fossa found on the occlusal surface of the molar teeth. Distal fossa. It is a major fossa found distal to the oblique ridge in the occlusal surface of the maxillary molars. Triangular fossa. It is a minor fossa found mesial as well as distal to the marginal ridges on the occlusal surface of premolas and molars and is termed mesial triangular fossa or distal triangular fossa depending on its location. Mesial triangular fossa is seen distal to the mesial marginal ridge and distal triangular fossa is seen mesial to the distal marginal ridge. Sulcus Sulcus is a long, linear depression or valley in the occlusal surface of the posterior teeth, the inclines of which meet at an angle to form a developmental groove. Developmental groove The developmental groove is a sharply defined, narrow and linear depression formed during tooth development, usually separating the lobes or the major portions of a tooth. Central developmental groove, it is a groove separating the occlusal aspect of posterior teeth. Buccal developmental groove, it is a groove separating the buccal cusps on the occlusal aspect of molar teeth and extending onto the buccal surface for a short distance. Lingual developmental groove, it is a groove separating the lingual cusps on the occlusal aspect of maxillary and mandibular molars and mandibular second premolas and extending onto the lingual surface for a short distance. Supplemental groove, it is a shallow linear depression, usually less distinct and more variable than a developmental groove, it does not mark the junction of the lobes or the major portions of a tooth. Pits Pits are small, pinpoint depressions usually seen in the fossa of the posterior teeth. They are found at the ends or cross sections of the developmental grooves. Central pit. It is found in the central fossa on the occlusal surfaces of molars where developmental grooves join. Buccal pit. It is found on the buccal surface of molars where the buccal developmental groove terminates. Lingual pit. It is found on the lingual surface of molars where the lingual developmental groove terminates. Mesial pit. It is found in the mesial triangular fossa on the occlusal surface of premolas and molars. Distal pit. It is found in the distal triangular fossa on the occlusal surface of premolas and molars. Fissures. A fissure is a sharp crevice between cusp and ridges formed because of the faulty union of the enamel of the different lobes. It is formed at the bottom of the developmental grooves, hope you liked our video, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get notification, in the next video, we will discuss about contact area and embrasure, thank you for watching.